everybody, Wonky Puppy here, bringing you another Let's Play video inside of Stardew Valley. Uh, starting off on the, the fifth day of spring, let's go ahead and check the weather. Uh, looks like it's going to be a clear sunny day all day tomorrow. Okay, so we are going to have to water our crops, so I have to keep an eye out on that. And uh, let's check our luck as well. Uh, spirits are very happy today. They'll do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. So that's awesome. That means that we have the best luck possible in the game right now. Uh, so, let us check the mail. Looks like we got that. Okay, uh, to our valued Joja Mart customers. Our team members have removed the landslide caused by a drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that the drilling operation is entirely legal. Pursuant to initiative L61091, Joja Cola Amendment, responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Joja customer satisfaction special. So that feels pretty dis disingenuous, Morris. But uh, good news, this means that the uh, the giant rock that was blocking the mines, that has been removed, so we can go to the mines today. That's really exciting. Uh, dear Farmer Wonky Puppy, I'd like to apologize for joking about your grandpa's old college, cottage when we first met. It's really a nice little house. However, you might need some more space someday, uh, and that's where I can help. If you bring me some raw materials and pay a fee, I can expand your house. Uh, the first expansion I offer includes a kitchen. With a kitchen, you'll be able to cook any recipes that you've learned. Anyway, I hope you're starting to feel at home in Stardew Valley. Your local carpenter, Robin. Awesome. Okay, so... Oh, we just got something. Oh, I harvested my first parsnip. So, oh, our parsnips are done. Those are our first crops. That's so exciting. Uh, we got 100 gold right now. Uh, that's because we harvested uh, some parsnips. So that's that's awesome also. So let's go ahead and harvest all of these parsnips. Um, what I am going to do uh, is get through all this. And we actually got two gold quality parsnips, which is actually really awesome considering we didn't use any fertilizer whatsoever. So I'm going to put those two in there because in the, uh, the community center butter, we're going to need five gold parsnips over time. So... Need to keep an eye out on that. Uh, I'm going to put one other regular quality parsnip in there, and then we are going to go over to Pierre's and sell the rest and buy more seeds. Because we have got to keep that going. Oh, we got new new uh, new um, uh, new journal. What uh, New goals. New, um, what's it called? New quest. We have new quests. Okay. Uh, as you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. So I don't know if I can do that yet. No, I can't. However, with those parsnips I just harvested, I can, I'll probably go up to farming level one overnight. And after I do that, I can craft a scarecrow. Uh, those are very important. Scarecrows will uh, keep crows from eating your crops. And that is the worst feeling in the world when a crow eats one of your val valuable crops. It's terrible. Uh, so yeah, they'll just swoop down and then they eat your plant and it's gone. You don't get anything out of it. It's terrible. All right, uh, help wanted. I need an eel to power my latest invention. It's the only thing that will work, Meru. Uh, we'll go ahead and accept that. I I won't be able to fulfill this because I think eels only come out during the rain. Um, so I didn't really need to take that. I, I, I'm definitely not going to be able to catch an eel for her, but uh, there's no harm in taking them. You just let them kind of uh, stack up. Oh, he's not here yet. That's annoying. Anyway, let's. Uh, I guess we can go back and we can water the field. I forget that Pierre only opens at 9. Uh, but what, what are we saying about those quests? Uh, you could, I, I just always take them just because there's no reason not to. Uh, you never know. I might like somehow find an eel or... or get one somewhere and if I do I'll just run it over to, to Meru but um oh look cutscene <gasps> we get our puppy hello hello wonky puppy you see this dog here no what dog oh that one bark barks <laughs> I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm I think it's a stray poor thing guess what comes next Hey, it seems to like this place. Hey, um, don't you think this farm could use a good dog? Will you adopt the dog? Oh, of course I will. Oh, so what do we name it? Um, let's see. Yogi, Tanny, Sninana, Romello, Lolo. <laughs> um, no, I don't think so. Actually, um, what I would like to do, uh, somebody on, um, on the first episode of this, uh, left me a really, really nice comment about, um, uh, Really, just really some nice, some some good feedback about the series. So let me let me go over to that super quick 
And I think I'm going to name this dog in honor of her. So give me one second and I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. So I am going to name this dog Julie. After um, after Julie, who left me a very nice comment on the first video of this series, and it really, uh, really made my day. Really, um, it really is a, a great encouragement. I'm so happy that uh, somebody somebody likes this video. <laughs> so somebody likes the the content that I'm making. It really it really does warm my heart. So this one's for you, Julie. Thank you so much for for leaving that nice comment. That really made my day. Okay, so we got a new dog, Julie. Well, Julie, you'll be a good pooch now, okay? Bark! Cool, so we got our dog. The dog the dog doesn't really do anything, but it's kind of cool to have. And um, yep, you can you can pet it every day, and you can water its bowl up in that top left corner. So we'll do that real quick. Because uh, it might as well. It's kind of fun. Uh, and where'd Julie go? Julie! There you are. Good, Julie. First things first. Again, I don't think I don't think filling the water bowl actually does anything in terms of like the game mechanics, but you know, it's just fun. You gotta take care of your puppy. Alrighty, and let's get this stuff water. Uh, and I can't I don't know what all of these plants are I know we put a bunch of potatoes down but a good chunk of these were uh, mixed seeds so I don't know exactly when they're gonna be um, when they're gonna be done so it's gonna be a little bit of a gamble as we do this but you know that's not that's not the worst thing in the world um, we are really focused on getting as much cold as we can before the the first festival of the game uh, and that's just so that we can buy as many strawberry plants as we absolutely can so let's let's do that. Oh, we got another another quest too. Raising animals. Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to uh, to build a coop or barn so that you can raise animals. And we definitely need to do that. There are several items within the the community center that we can only get. Oh, speaking of the community center, here we go. Community center cutscene. Very nice. We're just getting all kinds of good stuff today. Oh, hi there. That's a great day. <laughs> what an eyesore. This is uh, the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it anyway. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now, just look at it, it's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. Ah, oh, but listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Joja Corporation has been hounding me to sell them this land so that they can turn it into a warehouse. Peltatau could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Oh well. If anyone else buys a Joja member, uh, Joja Co. membership, I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. Yeah, so, um, oh, sigh. Let's here, let's go inside. So th this community center, um, they're gonna get into it a lot more, but essentially this is kind of the fork in the road of the storyline. Like you can choose to go and buy a JoJo company membership and then this place gets demolished. You don't get to do the community center. You still unlock all the same things, but you just buy everything instead. You just buy it from, from JoJo Mart. But we are not going to go the route of the Solus Corporation. We are gonna go and do the community center because that, that just feels right. All right, hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have must have been playing in here. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. <gasps> Look at that little dancing apple. What? <laughs> uh, what's the matter? Are you ill? Dude, there was a thing. I saw it, dude. There was a thing. You saw something? Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised that this place is full of rats. Like, spherical green rats? <laughs> You're worrying me, wonky puppy. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. 
Hmm, food sounds good. I have to agree with you. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe you can help catch that rat if you've got some extra time. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll go catch that, that spherical green rat. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Which we will be doing. Oh, we're right here, cool. Uh, so we need to go back in it and um, essentially to start the doing the community center, the first thing you need to do is come over here and look at the scroll, which we cannot read at the moment. It's uh, some kind of weird alien hieroglyph thing, right? But looking at it triggers the, the next event, which will, which will happen overnight. Uh, so we got that started. Uh, next step, let's go to Pierre's shop, sell our parsnips, and uh, buy some more seeds and get those into the ground. If we've got time later today, we'll go mining as well and uh, just kind of get our feet wet in the mine. I don't know that we'll have time, but we'll see. Uh, okay, so let's sell our parsnips. Boom, look at that, 874 gold. Nice! Um, and I... How long does beans take to grow? 10, okay. Um, how much time do we have? We don't have that many days. We don't have that many days. Uh, I think I wanna do... Ooh, this is so tough. I think I would like to do more potatoes. No, I'm gonna do kale this time. Let's do a bunch of kale. Uh, oh, that was 12, and I can do one more parsnip. Uh, so let's do that, get all of this into the ground. Um, just so that we can get a nice return before the, the, the holiday. That's what I'm really going to be focused on, is getting this return initially. I am after, like, when, whenever we, we go and we buy the strawberry seeds, I'm going to need to make sure that I reserve enough money to be able to grow a green bean and a cauliflower. Because uh, those are also going to be required as part of the community center bundles. And I don't want to not be able to do those because I used all of my money to grow other things. Ooh, okay. So we have even fewer things to grow, which is good. That means we have higher value seeds. Initially, initially this is a really good thing. Because we have higher value seeds that are still going to, to turn over a nice healthy profit. Uh, but they require less energy every day to water and maintain. So I'm not upset about that if I'm being quite honest. And um, yeah, so I think what we're going to do now is we are going to head up to the mines. Uh, we should get our sword, which is also awesome. Oh, oh, before I go to the mines, I should probably grab my pickaxe, huh? Uh, that would make a lot of sense. And uh, I think I'm going to get rid of my scythe because I should get a sword. And going to grab my pickaxe. There we go. And uh, I might want to grab some energy items as well. I'll grab these um, these spring onions, and we will we'll use those in case we get into a bind, either from a health perspective, which we should be fine health-wise, or from a energy perspective, which very well may become a problem. And um, what I'm really gonna focus on, I'll grab this for now. I'll probably end up eating it just to get rid of it, but you know, foraging experience. Um, but what what do I say? Uh, what will probably end up happening as we we do this? I'm going to initially focus on the mines. I'm uh, getting as deep as I possibly can for every run. I'm not going to focus on getting ores or gems or anything initially. I'm just going to dig down as fast as I can, and I'm going to do that so I can get the elevators. And whenever I actually need resources, I can just come back up to those floors and go after them uh, specifically. But I want to get to the deeper levels of the mine as fast as possible because I want to be able to get gold, essentially. I want to be able to get gold and iridium as quickly as I can so I can make some really nice sprinklers. Anyway, here's Marlin. Hmm. I was just peering down this hole into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Here, take this, you might need it. Da -da -da -da! I got a sword! You received a rusty sword, which is a garbage weapon, but it's much better than a scythe. Uh, name's Marlin, by the way. I run the Adventurer's Guild right outside. I'll keep an eye on you. Prove yourself and I might think about making you a member. 
Yeah, so if I remember correctly, to get into the Avengers Guild, we'll get a letter in the mail. It reached level five of the mines. We'll get a letter in the mail from Marlon telling us to slay 10 slimes. Uh, so if I slay slimes today, it really won't count towards that. It will only count after we get that letter, which is a little unfortunate, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah, so here we are in the mines. We are looking for ladders now. We want to get as deep as we can, as fast as we can. Uh, so these gray rocks, they take two hits, but they give you more mining experience. So uh, it's not a bad thing to take them out. Later on, after I upgrade my pickaxe, I'll be able to knock them out in one. So they actually become actually really nice in the, the lower levels. Uh, because they just let you move a little bit faster. Oh, there we go. Number two. Making good progress so far. This is actually a really good day to go mining, too, because our luck is high. Uh, and having good luck will make ladders drop more frequently. Increases the, the chance that they drop. Uh, and these ladders, they can drop by, um... By slaying a monster. A monster can drop them when you kill them. They can also be, uh, dropped by rocks, as we saw in the last couple levels. So, yeah. Ooh, look at all that. Look at all that. All that copper. That's tempting, but I'm supposed to be focusing on ladders. It's so hard to focus, though. I'm gonna have to get this. I'm gonna have to get this copper. <laughs> I don't even have enough copper to make a, um, to make a furnace yet. I don't think I can be too picky. But I did find a ladder, which is fantastic. So as soon as I knock this out, ooh, get down, get down. There we go. All right, let us keep going. See if we can, we're definitely gonna get to level five. Uh, let's see if we can maybe get to level 10 or 15 this first run. That would be awesome. I'm normally like notoriously bad at getting distracted and <laughs> and not really committing to getting as deep as I can as fast as I can while I'll go for all the shiny objects. But I'm going to really, really, really try to stay focused. There we go, another one. And just get as deep as we can as fast as we can. Okie dokie, starting to feel exhausted. Let us eat this silver quality leak. That was a nice boost. All right, boom, boom, boom. Let's keep going. Uh, I'm just gonna break every rock I find here and try to find that dang ladder as quick as possible. As quick as possible. Gotta move, gotta move, gotta move. All right, let's see, will you drop it? Nope. Nope. Oh, and I didn't point it out when I first came up, but you probably heard the little ding a ling a ling when I uh, hit the fifth floor uh, and saw the light on the elevator come on. Uh, that means that I have now activated the elevator for this floor and I can at any point in the future come right back to floor five using the elevator at the top of the mine. Uh, and that happens every fifth floor. So every fifth floor there is an elevator and um, that essentially lets you skip around and go to different levels of the mine so that you don't have to start from the top every single day, which is a very good thing because it's a very deep mine and it's, I don't, I don't even think it's even possible to get to the, the bottom in, um, in one day unless you just have a ton of stones, you can create your own ladders, um, which just really doesn't make sense either way. <laughs> um, okay, let us eat this horseradish, which is the other thing. <laughs> that I brought along for energy that gave us almost no energy. We'll eat one cave carrot. I'm going to save one of them though because they are needed for one of the community center bundles, uh, of course. So if I need another round of energy, I will use my spring onions. It looks like we've gotten a few good items uh, as we've picked some stuff up, so that's, that's awesome. Um, energy is definitely going to become a problem for us this time. Let me eat these spring onions real quick. Let's do maybe three. Yeah, yeah, eat, 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 eat. Perfect. And let's keep on trucking. Oh, there we go, ladder. Perfect. All right, now let's... Let's keep going. Come on, ladder. Uh, and later on, when you're a little bit higher in levels, we can actually, um, we can, uh, make bombs, which are super convenient. Uh, and bombs let you blow up an entire area of rocks and you get all the things that come from the rocks, um, without having to break each rock individually. Okay, let's, uh, oh, I don't know if I'm even going to be able to get to 10 without better energy items. Jeez. Uh, I need to spend a little bit more time with these forageables. More time on the forageables. 
Um, what I can do one day, maybe when I have worse luck, is uh, just spend some time fishing. Because fish are not a bad source of energy, to be honest. Oh, starting to feel exhausted again. Okay. Well, let's do one more spring onion. Uh, let's see if we can get to 10. We'll really need some luck to do that. Um, but maybe, maybe we can pull it off. This is a bigger episode. So, uh, we still have some time. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to go clear all the enemies. And hope that the enemies drop a ladder so I can save whatever I have left. Just in case floor 9 doesn't have any enemies. Um, I can still break the rocks that they have here. Oh, we got some quartz. Oh, but I can't pick it up. What do we want to get rid of? Let us get rid of... Uh, these... Just a little bit of slime. Nah. Uh, we don't really need need slime. Ooh, ducky. Ducky, 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 ducky. Ooh, ooh. Ah, uh, sword is not good. It's not good. Oh, got him. All right, you go, 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 go. Die. Oh, good. See, we got a ladder. Perfect. Uh, oh, there we go. Another ladder. Nice. Okay. So we got some leather boots. Very good. Uh, now let's see if I can do this artfully. Uh, how do I drop this without throwing it? Ah, oh well. I'll just I'll just throw it away. A little bit of a waste, but that's fine. I don't know how to drop things in uh, on the Switch version. Uh, without throwing it away, so I can't do that. Okay, how are we doing? We have very little energy left, so what I'll do, I'm just gonna poke my head down to floor 11 and see if there's any good uh, things that we can mine or take real quick. Uh, we're definitely not gonna be able to get to floor 15 just because we don't have enough energy items to get ourselves over there. Oh, here we go, another moth. Or, a new, it's the first time we've actually seen a moth. Oh, and there's a couple of them, hooray! Hooray for mean, ferocious bugs! Go away! Go away! Nah! No! Oh, this is a bit of a pickle. That's it's okay. Like it, the, these early bosses, or early bosses, these early uh, enemies, uh, they really don't do all that much uh, damage. So unless you're really careless, they shouldn't be a, a big problem for anybody. Uh, there we go. And you. Well, if nothing else, I got some more bug meat. I don't think I can really do anything with the bug meat right at the moment, but uh, it is good for making bait later on for fishing. Once you get a, uh, once you get the recipe for it, and I think you even have to get another fishing pole in order to be able to use it. Man, I'm actually taking some damage though. Why are there so many of these bugs in this level? It's not normal. All right, there we go. We got that. Let's just knock out these gray rocks with a little bit of energy we have left just to get a little bit more mining experience. Uh, how are we on? Oh, we got a little bit left. Okay. Trying to make sure we maximize our time as much as we possibly can. There we go. Uh, we also have a little bit of algae now. We picked that up from the slimes that we killed, and that's uh, that's a decent source of energy. It's not really good for anything else, so you might as well just eat it if you get into a bind. Um, but yeah, I think that's good. It's 1020, so it's about time to head back to the farm anyway. Uh, so let's do that. Uh, this path up here is kind of this little, this is a shortcut to, to get back to the farm, rather than going and walking through town the entire time. Um, so it's good if you are in a hurry or want to get there fast, but uh, taking the route in front of Piers will also show you uh, that what quests are available. Uh, quests are good for getting a little bit of money. They're not excellent for money, uh, but what they are good for is uh, advancing relationships with people. Um, because people will post things that they want. If you give it to them, a lot of those will actually give you relationship points with people. So that's actually the real reason to keep an eye on those and do it is to get those relationship points because those are hard to come by otherwise. Uh, you don't get a lot of opportunities to make people really happy. Uh, so there we go with that. Uh, looks like we have enough copper now to make a furnace, so let's do that. That's going to be a really good one. I think that's part of our goals. And let's smelt something. Uh, looks like we have enough copper to smelt a few bars. Let's get one going. Oop, then get that coal. There we go, one piece of coal. And pop that in the furnace. Nice. And let's check out what we got here. Uh, smelting. Use your furnace to smelt a copper bar. Okay, let's just hang out for a second and get that achievement. 
and I'll go ahead and pull out five more bits of copper and one more bit of coal so I can just pop another one right back in there as soon as we're done. These, I don't think copper takes very long either, so hopefully any minute now. There it goes. Perfect. And what do we get for this? Oh, reach level 40 in the mines. Uh, okay. Wait, what? The other one just went away. I didn't get anything for that? Oh, well, there's no point. Anyway, I'll just walk around with my bar of copper for now, I guess. That'll be my trophy. Anyway, um... Yeah, so let's go ahead and go to sleep for the night because we pretty much did everything we can do today. <gasps> there we go! Level 1 farming! So I got watering can proficiency, which means it'll take a little bit less energy for me to use my watering can, and plus 1 hoe proficiency, which is the same thing. It takes a little bit less energy to use my hoe now. Uh, we also got the crafting recipe for a scarecrow, so that's a really big, really good thing. We can now protect our crops from those, those nasty crows. And we got basic fertilizer, which is really, really, really good. Uh, especially to get those quality crops that we really need to get. So I think when we do this next crop rotation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a whole bunch of basic fertilizer and plant a whole bunch of parsnips and try to get those five quality parsnips that I really need in order to, to do that, um, that community center bundle that I was telling you about. Uh, we got level one mining. So we got pickaxe, pickaxe proficiency. Exact same thing. It makes it a little bit more energy efficient to swing my pickaxe. And we also got the crafting recipe for cherry bomb. Which is excellent. We probably won't be using it because I think it does require copper ore and copper ore is going to be a little bit of a precious commodity for a little while as I get all of the things built that I need to get built up. All right, well, there we go. Um, so that's another day down. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. If you liked the video, please go ahead and leave a like for me. Um, if you've got any feedback, comments, want to chat with me, just leave a, a comment down below. And um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with everything that I'm putting out on the channel. Uh, I am right now planning on posting these episodes once a week on Saturdays. Um, so if you want them more frequently or you think a, a day, another day would be better, definitely open to that feedback as well. Uh, but until next time, take care and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.